Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time when we left off, we had just left Seraph Industries HQ and headed out to the Detroit city streets. Alright, I'm going to try to read at least one of these. Chapter 1, Welcome to the Revolution. The year is 2027. Multinational biotech corporations specializing in human enhancement are vying for dominance in what has become a controversial field. Many engage in clandestine wars against each other, employing thieves, moles, and hackers to steal their competitors' research. To protect its research, Detroit-based Seraph Industries has recently developed its own internal security force. Enter Adam Jensen, newly appointed head of SI Security. Chapter 2, Back in the Saddle. Six months have passed since mysterious black op mercenaries attacked Seraph Industries, and we've been cut off. Anyway, let's talk to everybody out here, starting with this guy. Is there a problem, sir? The city's a little quieter now that the limb protest is broken up. The city's a little quieter now that the limb protest is broken up. My neighbors were there when it happened, you know. The hostage taking at the Seraph plant. Greg and Josie Thorpe. Do you know them? Oh, thank God they made it out alive. Greg and Josie Thorpe. Mr. Jensen. Do you know them? Is it true that the oh, leader of the God terrorist cell got away? Alive. Guess you weren't as ready as Mr. Saraf thought. They released his name. Zeke Sanders. Apparently a veteran of some sort. Now we get to worry about who or what he'll attack next. They released his name. Zeke Sanders. Apparently okay. a veteran of some sort. Let's talk to this gal over here, or guy over here. I don't know you and I don't want to know you. Get it? This freaking city's falling to pieces and you want to chit chat? Freaking city's falling to pieces and you want to chit chat? Let's search the trash can. It's empty. So that goes down to street level. There is another trash can to search here. Also empty. No problem there. Up here at the top level, there's a group of people over here and another trash can to search. This one's got 42 credits in it. Alright. I don't really have anything. It's not the same. You don't need to take drugs for the rest of your life when you have a tattoo. Well, I think what you do to your body is up to you. Yeah? Well, when everybody's done doing what they want, what happens to people like us who refuse to become machines? We become the weaker species, that's what. And the next thing you know, we'll be the ones living in derelict Rome. Wow, you really don't have an opinion on this, do you? All right, let's talk to them all now. 2027 and we're still arguing about the damn environment. When I was a kid, it was the big news. Global warming, rising oceans. It was already too late back then. Does Hugh Darrow really believe his Panchea project is going to reverse all the damage we've done to the planet? He may be a genius, but this time he's wrong. Does Hugh Darrow really believe his Panchea project is going to reverse all the damage we've done to the planet? Really not interested. He may be a genius, but Sorry. this time he's wrong. Sorry. You know who's behind these attacks on Seraph Industries, don't you? The same people who faked 9-11. They want us scared, man. They want every person in the Western world terrified some terrorist's going to attack us in our homes. They want us scared, man. I'm sorry. They want every We're person having a in the private Western conversation world terrified here? some Look, terrorist's going to attack us I don't have anything against you, homes. but just stay away, okay? Look, I don't have anything against you. Okay. Now, somewhere out here, there's a pocket secretary that's pretty hard to find without object highlight on it stuck in one of these bushes on the ground but you believe it we had the place surrounded and we were ordered to hang back since when did we take orders from david Seraph? maybe there was some hazardous material they were worried about more like there was something illegal in there that they wanted the rent -a cop to get rid of we should have never let that guy in i thought jensen did okay he helped save the hostages he got lucky i got nothing to say to you if you want something from Detroit PD, go cry to your boss about it. If you want something from Detroit PD, you're Jensen, right? Go cry to your boss. One of my buddies about told me what you did at the plant. Nice job saving those hostages. Can't imagine what those purity first nuts were thinking when they went in there. How did their leader get away from you anyway? How did their leader get away from you anyway? Okay. I wish I remembered exactly where it is, but I don't. Search this trash can. It's got a hot devil beer, which I'll want to hang on to. I need to collect four total. To the Detroit Automated Information Network, including directory assistance, tourist information, and street quest. Services are temporarily offline. Thank you. Let's talk to this guy. 2027, and we're still arguing about the damn environment. 
when I was heard a that. Let's talk to this guy. If you see any sign of purity for his agitators on the streets, back then. please report it. We don't want any more trouble. Already a hostage taking and an anti augmentation demonstration today. With the target visit coming up, this city is a powder cake waiting to blow. Already a hostage taking and an anti augmentation demonstration. Okay, let's check back here. I don't see anyone. Let's talk to this gal. That's a pretty lame come on, hun. Especially since I just know this humidity is ruining my hair. Whatever. Whatever. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, pal. I can see you've had some work done, and I'm wondering, what do you think about this augmentation uh, debate? Looks to me like a typical power grab. Every time somebody comes up with a new idea, somebody else will want to criticize it, regulate it, or ban it completely. But really, they want to control it. Every time somebody comes up with a new idea, somebody else will want to criticize it. Welcome to the Detroit Automated Information Network, including directory assistance. All right, let's talk to these two before we head off down that street. Well, let me talk to this guy. You can't walk a block in this city without some loser asking for a handout. I got two words for you. Fuck off. I got two words for you. Fuck off. Harsh. Cyberboost Pro Energy Bar in the trash can. That's handy. I'll talk to the guy sitting in the bus stop. Don't get on my nerves, pal. I'm done talking to you. I'm done talking to you. See, there's nothing over here. We'll leave the girl rooting through the trash can for later. For now, I just want to make sure I don't miss anybody, so let's talk to this gal. It's impossible to hail a cab in this part of town. It's getting kind of late. I wonder if the Crosstown bus is still running. It's getting kind of late. I wonder if the Crosstown bus is still running. That trash can's empty. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? I don't know. All these cameras and chips and stuff everywhere. How do you know they're not tracking you or something? Fear big brother, man. I don't know. All these cameras and chips and stuff everywhere. How do you know they're not tracking you or something? Okay, let's listen to these two. I can't believe this whole hostage thing. Terrorists on our own soil? I know, and that guy Taggart claiming he has no connection? I don't believe that for a second. I heard he's coming to make a speech at the convention center. That's like when the NRA went to Columbine after the second time. Moses himself, coming to free us from the evil pharaoh, Seraph the <laughs> Second. Yeah. Well, let's hope for a plague on all the humanity front houses. Let's talk to this gal. I really should have stayed in bed this morning. Missed the bus home and the subway is shut down. I swear if it isn't one thing, it's another. I swear if it isn't one thing, it's another. All right, let's talk to both of these. Adam, nice look you got going on there. You must be hitting the clubs tonight. No rest for the weary in this city, I guess. No rest for the weary in this city, I guess. Hey, Adam, didn't see you there. Heading home for the evening, or does Mr. Seraph have you looking into something new? Can't talk about it. Right. Well, just take care of yourself, okay? Can't talk about it. Right. Okay. Let's talk to this guy and search that trash can. You watched the hockey game last night? Wins against the Habs? What a massacre. If our guys play like that for the rest of the season, we can kiss the playoffs goodbye. If our guys play like that for the rest of the season, we can kiss the playoffs goodbye. All right. Now I'm going to scour these bushes for that pocket secretary I know is hiding in them. I don't even remember which patch of ground it's on, but I do know that it's there. Welcome to the Detroit Automated Information. Should probably crouch. That'll make it easier to find. Anyway, if I try to combine all of Detroit into one video, it will just be huge. So, I haven't really decided exactly how to divvy it up yet. I might do it geographically, because map changes are too irregular. I mean, sometimes I'll be on the same map for over an hour, and other times there will be a change after two or three minutes, so... I don't know. I'll probably just do it whenever it seems like I've been playing long enough that I should call it a video. Which... 
lacks the gratification of really clear demarcations, but it is what it is. Where is that thing? I know it's in here. Maybe it's in this one. Don't know, don't know, I just don't know. All I remember is that it exists. Tracking it down. Kind of making me angry. Maybe it's up here. No luck there. It's got to be somewhere. We definitely don't want that. Time for a reload. Is there a problem, sir? The city's a little quieter now. The limb protest. Oh, uh, let's see. I just want to let the conversations play and get the goodies. Which, if I remember right, was just the beer and the credit shit. Well, when everybody's done doing what they want, what happens to people like us who refuse to become machines? We become the weaker species, that's what. There, I found it. you know, we'll be the ones living in derelict row. Pocket Secretary, emergency exit from btycll at yazura.det.usa to twoods at gaggle.det.usa. Hector leaves at 8. Use the emergency exit to get in and be careful nobody must see you. The door is on the top of the billboard next to the old gas station. The code is 8982. I can't wait to see you again. Rose, P.S. I'll be wearing nothing but the gift you got me. Wow, you really don't have an opinion on this. Okay, I don't need to. We had the place surrounded. I don't need to talk to everybody again. I'm just gonna trigger their conversations. Then I want to head into the alleyway back here. If I can convince the game to quick save. There we go. There we go. Now what do we have over here? One guy. I got a right to live my life as I choose. And this little corner of the universe here is mine. God bless America, man. God bless America, man. All right. The garage is level three, so we can't get in yet. That trash can has nothing in it. But I keep feeling like there's a reason to get on top of this dumpster, but I can't remember what. I'll need to carry something over here if I want to do that. I haven't really spotted anything I can pick up. That's the issue.
look at my map right quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we get an exploration bonus if we can get on top of that dumpster. So, I would like to do that. There's nothing around here that Jensen can move. I really feel like he should be able to make this jump. No mantle. Let's just load it up again. Alright, come on, Jensen. You can do this. I know you can. Dang it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to bother quick loading. It's easy enough to get up there. I just can't get him to make the jump. Okay, that time I hit the vent, so it's... Yeah, I, I gotta come back after I find something I can carry and stand on. That's the bottom line. So who haven't we talked to yet? Oh wait, I see something. I can just... Uh, bad grab. Dang it. Well, let's try hopping around. Come on, Jensen. Atta boy, atta boy. Now, from here, I feel like he ought to be able to make that, but he won't. It's never that easy. Probably need the jump enhancement to do all this. Unless he can make it from over here. Again, not happening until I find something I can carry and jump onto. So. Let's keep my eyes open for that. Sleeping bum over here. That's always fun. Damn it. My Wi Fi's out, and, and I need to check the sports scores right away. Wish I could afford one of those cranial jobs. I can't even cover this month's rent unless Baltimore covers the spread. That would be a major fallout. I can't even cover this month's rent unless Baltimore covers the spread. That's a pretty lame come on, hun. Especially since I just know this humidity is brutal. Hmm. Well, here we've got... bus station, which I can't really mess with yet. Here's the gun merchant, so I might as well sell him the weapons I've been carrying around after I check out here for stuff I can move, of course. Let's talk to this young man first. I ain't got nothing for you. Check with the man. And keep your hands where I can see them. You hard of hearing or something? I ain't got the goods. He does. You hard of hearing or something? I ain't got the goods. He does. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Ebook. No better. The Myth of Human Augmentation by William Taggart. 
Humankind has always sought to improve itself from the earliest iterations of civilization. We improved our minds through education and the pursuit of knowledge, our souls through the quest for spiritual truth, and our bodies through the eradication of disease and hunger. You will forgive me, perhaps, when I dare to say that the human being is a divine engine. It is the ultimate expression of life on our earth, and so it is a most precious and sacred thing. Humanity is what we have, it is what we are. But that purity falls beneath a shadow, and that shadow is greed. It is weakness. The power is at our fingertips to replace flesh with steel and plastic. But the truth is this. For each piece of yourself you surrender, your humanity dies a little more. You are no better. Okay. Let's talk to this guy now. You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. <laughs> Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. Alright, let's sell for now. We will sell the tranquilizer rifle. Sell the machine pistol. And... Let's see, I need to hold those beers. I'll sell the wine. And as far as explosives... Sell the concussion grenades and sell the concussion mine. Okay. See you soon. That should be good. Yeah, we can keep all this. It's good. The game does some automatic inventory management, but I'll just do that. That's much cleaner. I like it. Still haven't found anything I can carry. Over here, let's talk to these people. You know who's behind these attacks on Seraph Industries, don't you? There's Some another hot devil beer in the trash can. The good Lord made you in his own image. Why would you desecrate yourself? Don't you realize that the only thing you need in this world is his love? Don't you realize that the only thing you need Let's in talk to this guy. Try not to start any trouble. We were able to stem the violence at the limb protest, but things are still tense. We were able to stem the violence at the limb protest, but things are still Talk to this guy. A little advice? Avoid derelict row. Hate to admit it, we've lost it to the gangs. Hate to admit it, we've lost it. Let's go up here then. I'd advise you to stay away from the DRB gang if you can. Just stay in the brightly lit streets and you'll be fine. Just stay in the brightly lit streets and you'll be fine. I don't want to travel to the limb clinic just yet. You look like you're built for trouble. Listen, just because you have money doesn't make you better than me. Listen, just because you have money Sorry, doesn't bud. make you the better than me. The protest broke up hours ago. There's nothing to see here anymore. I'm sure the evening news will tell you everything you want to know. I'm sure the evening news will tell you everything you want to know. Okay, as we head over here... These limb riots are being organized by the government. They want an excuse to exact martial law and split this country up. Keep it down, pal. People are on the edge right now, and we don't want any more trouble. What will you say when you're kidnapped by a bunch of augmented soldiers and put in a concentration camp? I haven't put much thought into it, okay? Haven't you heard of REX-84? FEMA is setting up camps right here in Detroit. Yeah, and Stevie Y is actually a 600-year-old vampire. Let's talk to the cop first. This augmentation debate is bringing all the crazies out. Back away, buddy. I don't want any trouble here. Back away, buddy. I don't want any trouble here. Talk to this guy. This is just the first step in the plan. One day they will use our fears to control us all. One day they will use our fears to control us all. Let me talk to these ladies. It's a shame our city's name is being dragged down by fanatics. Right? I remember when it was really bad here, back before Serap Industries okay, opened their doors. Goodbye. It's because of David Seraf and the Biomod industry that Detroit is even habitable today. Of course, there are still parts of the city I won't walk through. It's because of David Seraf and the Biomod industry that Detroit is even habitable today. Of course, there are still parts of the city I won't walk through. Let's see. Search this trash can. It's empty. Wait for her to get off the phone. Bounce up here real quick. Sleeping bum. 
That's all well and good. She should be off the phone soon. I can't believe he said that. Well, maybe I need to give her a little more time. Anyway, this is the way into the Detroit Convention Center. William Taggart's coming soon. I'll see you later. Okay. I heard they want to give David Seraph the key to the city. Something about the city's rebirth. Some savior. Sitting up there in his ivory tower while half the city is starving. Some savior. Okay. Here we go. We can hack this one. So let's do it. There is one data store to get to, and there's the exit over there. The trace is probably going to get me right away, so... Access credit. 50 credits and 50 experience. And we get to go into the... Garage. A hundred, a hundred experience for exploring the garage. There's one hot devil, and another one which I only have. I only have a use for one of these. So we need to listen to this uh, Lazarus broadcast. So I'll camp here until he restarts his rant. In the meantime, you can enjoy the Udatco theme from Deus Ex 1. Check the streets first and talk to all the people down here. Jensen, right? I've heard about you. Yeah, you were a good cop by most accounts. But you're lucky you got out. Look at the force now. Our badges mean nothing. We've got no authority. Look at the force now. Our badges mean nothing. We've got no authority. I'd advise you to stay away from the DRB gang if you can. Just stay in the brightly lit streets and you'll be fine. Just stay in the brightly lit streets and you'll be fine. Why do some people feel they could just Don't walk worry. up there and start yet? Don't worry, it's already over. broke it up hours ago. Shove off, mister. Don't okay. you understand yeah. English? I said, get lost. Don't you understand English? You can't walk a block said, in this city without some loser lost. asking for a handout. Who do you think you are? Forget the small talk. Forget the small talk. All right. <laughs> They're all jerks. That's fine. Let's head up the stairs into the convention center. And see what we can find. There's no ghost bonus to risk here, so... 
I, we don't need to worry about getting spotted, even if people don't like us. You serious? You gonna join the derelict role ballers? In the middle of a gang war? Yo, keep your voice down, man. Why don't you just call Eliza and have her broadcast it? I'm telling you, Spike. Those cats are serious about taking out the bangers. And? You a fucking cog lover or something? Shut it, D-Bone. Look, do Paul. The gang war don't scare me. Cause I hear the MCBers don't stand a chance. Not with all the firepower that's been slipping into D-Row. Yeah, and that. More than enough to bag each one of us a cog. Okay. We're gonna need to take these guys down. As soon as we get a chance. You better not- Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I didn't I knew that wasn't going to work out. Since they're not worth experience, I guess I really don't need to, uh... I see you. Well... I don't need to worry about accomplishing double takedowns because these guys don't give any experience. But... Hmm. You better not... Let's go ahead and get this guy too while we're at it. And his buddy. That guy's dead. I'm gonna Well I was really hoping Jensen would take both of them out since he was standing between them. It is easier when you when I make a point of remembering. You better not Yo, anyone there? That I've got no uh, Go ghost bonus to risk. That I should let that guy back off a little more so I can hopefully get another double on the two guys in the bathroom. So let's let him walk a little farther away. Now not. let's get these two. Oh! Something over there? Come get me! Well, let's see if I can make this work. Dead. Have some of this. <clears throat> yeah, not gonna work. I need to let the first guy walk far enough away that the takedown doesn't alert him all by itself. You better not go there. Perfect, perfect. That's what I wanted. So, hey, hey, get up. Finish this. Well, damn. Keep I running, you can't hide no more. That was almost perfect, but I took a lot of damage that I'd rather not take, but I guess if I regenerate back to a hundred, it doesn't matter so much. Well, I'd rather not get hit. The trick is just to move fast, I guess. You better not go there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing a single when there's another guy standing right there? That's what I don't understand. I'm right in between the two dudes. Uh, Jensen doesn't feel like doing the double takedown, which is just asinine. You better not go there, man. 
Let's try again. Let's use this. Now let's rush these two. I'm gonna get you, uh, I guess he walked too far away. I don't know. Maybe I should do that double takedown first. But you better but, not go there, man. Unless you want. Oh come on. Maybe I shouldn't bother crouching. Then I can move a little bit faster. You better. Okay. Hey, hey, get up. No, Jensen, I want you to do a double takedown. They are right next to each other. Come on, dude. What? That's I you, right? you bastard. Fine. <laughs> Hmm. There's one. There's another. I'm gonna get you, asshole. Don't want to get shot. I wish Jensen would just do the double takedown. I don't know why he won't. It's bothering me though, I'll tell you that. You're I'm dead, cut fun. They are right next to each other. Why won't he do it? Ugh. Sorry, I'm getting frustrated, people. Okay. Damn it. Come on. That guy's dead. Down he goes. Run you bastard. Down he goes. I got one more hostile, so let's go ahead and use a bar. Fine, that's how it's gotta be. Now we got 48 credits on this one, plus some pistol ammo. Pistol ammo. Pistol ammo. Pistol ammo. Keeping one full clip of ammo is enough for me, so I'll drop the rest. Got my ten shots. That one's got pistol ammo. This one's got 96 credits and machine pistol ammo. And we're done. All right. Let's check the bathroom. Got 75 credits on the counter. And an entrance to the vent. Nothing in here except another vent entrance, so let's head into the vent now. That one just goes back out to the other bathroom. What we want to do is come up here. Get a hundred experience, machine pistol ammo, a machine pistol, and 99 credits. Alright. Well, that's that. I still see nothing in here, which is unfortunate. But... It is what it is. I still haven't found anything that I can carry and use as a stepping stone, which Show some love for your fellow man. is probably intentional on their part, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. Let's climb up this ladder. 
Now we have the code for the door up here, but obviously we'd rather hack. Hacking, though, is level 4, so we can't do it just yet. And there's not actually anything back here. That's unfortunate, but... Let me head down this alleyway right quick. Actually, let me take a really quick pause right here. All right, we're back. Sorry about that, folks. Take a brief little foray back in here. Talk to all these people. No offense, but I wouldn't get enhancements even if I could afford them. And the shots. Ain't there already enough that can go wrong with our natural bodies? Ain't there already <gasps> enough that can go wrong with no our natural hit. bodies? Ain't no way I was getting all just to keep my job. I ain't no guinea pig. Government's experimenting on people without they even know. Making super soldiers, man. Lazarus says so. Government's experimenting on people without Lord they even God know. Lord God made you Making in super his own soldiers, image. Man. Why would you Lazarus desecrate yourself? So. We've heard all that Price already. Me up with some real tight merch. Those ugg lovers get in my face now. I'm ready to pop them. Grayson, where he at these days? Yo, where you been, man? He been running shit through that abandoned gas station for weeks. Oh, word, I wanted to get some upgrades for my Zenith 10 mil. He can hook you up nice, man. If you go, tell him I sent you. I want a discount next time. Word. Yo, you look like the man who knows where to find that good shit. Upgrades, weapons, stuff like that. Don't worry, it's all good. I just need it for protection. Don't worry, it's all good. I just need it for protection. What you need, player? Because I know where you can cop some goods. If you want some. Wait a second. You ain't a cop, are you? Just forget I said anything. Wait a sec. You ain't a cop, are you? Alright. Let's roll down this alley for now. I'm thinking about getting my pit bull augmented. Get him some you know, cyber paws and cyber fangs and shit. You know, throw him in the ring. The augmentation? Yeah, word. We should, um, what do you call that? You, 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 the register. Patent. Copyright. Yeah, copyright. Let's copyright that shit. Dogmentation. Yo, we gotta be rich, man. Okay, let's talk to these. You trying to scare me, Skinner? Cause you don't. Without them odds, you nothing. Nothing. Without them odds, you nothing. Nothing. But don't be listening in to me and my crew, man. Somebody might think you're a narc. You heard me. Get lost. Before I make you get lost. You heard me. Get lost. Before I make you get lost. Ain't it kind of late for someone like you to be using these alleys? Downtown ain't safe for pretty boys. Don't say I didn't warn you, pretty boy. Don't say I didn't warn you, pretty boy. Let's talk to this one. Word to the wise, handsome. Don't go straying too close to derelict row. Them crazies don't take well to enhancers. Seriously, even the cops don't go into that grease pit. Seriously, even the cops don't go into that grease pit. Now this box is our ticket to a bunch of experience and other goodies. We gotta take it all the way back to Seraph headquarters. That's no problem. We could get all of this much faster with the jump enhancement, but I have higher priorities for my Praxis points. So if I want these, I probably need to get them this way. First thing I'm going to do is head back into this alley. Do a quick save because I don't want to lose my box. It's my ticket to everything. Just drop it on top. You want it sticking out like that if you can manage it. And then just <laughs> jump onto the dumpster, get a hundred experience. Pop over here, grab the nuke virus out of the box. All right, we're good there. Let's get our trusty box again. Drag it over here. Plop it on top of those phone booths like that. Then we can jump up there, and of course I need to turn it and drop it so the end is 
hanging off towards this balcony. And then we can jump onto the balcony, get 200 experience, a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack, and then we can get a second box, which I can only imagine will come in handy. So right away, it's good that this one turned up right. I'm gonna drop it next to this. I'm gonna go get my first box. Drop it lengthwise, like so. Now I can hop up the boxes, hop onto the shelter, hop over this fence, get another 100 experience, and get three credit chips. 13, 87, 49. That is beautiful. Now, I think, I'll talk to Letitia. First, I'm gonna search her trash can. Well, shit, if it ain't the captain himself. Mr. Zeref done fixed you up good, ain't he? Give you a new set of glasses and everything. Damn. How you doing, Letitia? Didn't think I'd see you walking this boulevard anytime soon, that's for sure. Not after what happened six months ago. People said you's down for the camp. People tend to underestimate me. <laughs> you and me both, Captain. You and me both. Uh, you, uh... Got any credits you could spare? Let's offer her a beer. Here. It's not credits, but. Mighty kind, Captain. Mighty kind. This one's on me, Tish. Oh, keep it up, and I'm gonna have to give you something back. I'm gonna give her all four. Don't say I never gave you anything. Mm hmm. Oh, shit, Captain. Now that's almost too much. One more. Damn, Captain. You knows how to warm a girl's insides. Here, you take this. I found it on Brooklyn Court, near the basketball court. Thought I might hold on to it, in case I needed to crawl inside some rainy night. But maybe you find some use for it instead. Pocket Secretary added to Media Log. Let's get what info we can without paying her any money. How about you give me some information, and then we'll see. Oh, damn, Captain. You ain't no cop no more. Why you gotta insist on using them rules? Because it's my money this time, not the department's. You want it, you better give me something that's worth it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So what you wanna know? Weapons. It's been a while since I walked the beat. Where would a less than exemplary citizen go these days if he needed to acquire some unlicensed firepower? Well now, I hear there might be a gun seller or two around town. But an adventuring man, especially one fixed with some of that fancy techno limbs Mr. Serif makes, he might be able to acquire a few more if he's willing to go the extra mile. We're not gonna pay anything. City mood. You've always had a good feel for this city, Tish. What's the mood on the street these days? Oh, things ain't looking good, Captain. People losing their jobs, their homes, locking everything they own into those uh, garage door storage units around town, hoping nobody breaks in and steals stuff. Mr. Seraph gonna save us? He better do it soon. Or what? Not sure. Just feels like this whole city's waiting to explode. Especially in the malleys behind the gas station. Most of the time, you's fine walking there, long as you don't cause no trouble. But you do something wrong? Well, cops and punks both trigger happy these days. Secret paths. I might need to do a little trespassing soon. Maybe get inside some places where I'd rather not be seen going in. You being kind of vague, Cap. But maybe it's best I don't know the Pacifics. You got that right. What I do know, though, is that most people tend to look down, not up. And even when looking down, they don't necessarily think about what's under their feet. If a person ain't too squeamish about getting dirty, 
they might be able to get inside one of the more sensitive areas in the city, especially if they arm themselves ahead of time with the right information. Nope. I think I've got all the information I need right now, Tish. Maybe next time. I'll be right here waiting for you, Captain. All right, let's read the pocket secretary she gave us. Stat up from Brother Lyle at s.rmenth.net to Surat at s.rmenth.net. I've just finished installing your new deterrent in the storage locker. The system will be up and running in a few minutes. Pretty serious stuff, so be careful. For increased security, I also changed the code to the locker itself. Storage locker code 1904, security system code 6542. Pleasure doing business with you. Take care. Couple new access codes, not that I'll be using them. Now, with all that accomplished, we're gonna go ahead and enter the limb clinic. Remember to use nutrients to replenish your energy. Mr. Jensen, David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrode seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. All right. Well, I don't know where the 5,000 credits came from, but it's not DLC. So we got one Praxis point for meeting with Dr. Markovic. That was worth 1,000 experience. We can buy two more Praxis kits off her for, I think, 5,000 credits each. I'm not going to spend the 10,000 I got with DLC, but I don't need to. I can get both Praxis kits right away. Now, I want to buy Typhoon ammo. And Cyber Boost Pro Energy Jar is always a good idea, too. And actually, so is a Hypo Stim. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. So with all that done, let's see. Yeah, that's, that's over. I now have three Praxis kits. So let's go ahead and boost my capture software all the way up to five. Boom, boom, boom. Love it. Now let's talk to everybody in here. Will you be purchasing something after all? Oh. Very well. Perhaps when you are feeling stronger. Let's talk to everyone else in here. Nice jacket. I bet you're hiding some real cutting edge enhancements under it, aren't you? My ex-boyfriend was a pro-human purist. The bastard. Dumped his ass as soon as I figured out what he was. My ex-boyfriend was a pro-human purist. The bastard. Dumped his ass as soon as I you figured out what he was. Here in Detroit? This is the first time I've actually had the guts to walk in the door. It's a big step. But I've wanted to do this for ages. It's a big step. 
But I'm just here to get my prescription agents. updated. Ran out of neuropazine last week. Thought I could just order up a refill, but I have to see a doctor first. Maybe one day they'll find a way to prevent implant rejections once and for all. Maybe one day they'll find a way to prevent You'd like to obtain a license, all you have to do is make a generous, tax-deductible donation to LIM. If you'd like to obtain a license, all you okay. have to do is make a generous... I'm just getting a minor neuroprosthetic upgrade, but even so, it's stressful. Of course, it helps knowing my vision will improve when it's done. Of course, it helps knowing my vision will improve when it's done. Did you hear about that hostage situation over in Milwaukee Junction? Humanity first denies all responsibility for it. They keep saying they don't condone violence, but if you ask me, it was Bill Taggart's speech in front of the UN that lit the fire under those extremes. They keep saying they don't condone violence, but if you Getting ask me, Getting Ogs is the way to go, man. Now how are you going to defend yourself in today's world without Ogs? You come up against a damn criminal that's all geared up, what are you going to do? It's survival of the fittest. You come up against a damn criminal that's all geared up, what are you going to do? It's survival of the fittest. Building Wings, A Better Tomorrow by David Seraph. Where we risk allowing our technology to divide us is in the very question of regulation. Some would argue that augmentation, which by its nature is a mechanism whereby humans can transcend their limitations, cannot be allowed to be freely available. <laughs> While on the surface, such calls for regulation might be seen as a reasonable response, in the long term, such stigmatization will work against our society. We already live in a culture of haves and have-nots, those rich or poor in terms of money, those impoverished or affluent in terms of data and knowledge. To willfully blockade the spread of human augmentation technologies will add another category, those who are human and those who are transhuman. And as we speak here of futures where transhumanism must be the normative, how can we willingly allow some of us to be left behind? Nice jacket. I bet you're hiding some real cutting-edge enhancements under it, aren't you? Let's read this ebook. Liberate yourself, let us help. Liberty in Mind and Body International, LIM, is an international humanitarian organization dedicated to the care and welfare of augmented people around the world. We are the leading advocate and healthcare provider for human enhancement technology, with nearly 2,000 clinics serving the needs of over 8 million people every year. Founded in 2011 by Dr. Hayden Su Yong, formerly of Darrow Industries, our credo is augmentation for all. 100% independent of corporate and national control, LIM's mission statement is no less than to offer full and equal access to human enhancement products and technologies across every global border and class in society. Our international network of low-cost medical mechanical clinics cater exclusively to augmented people, and they can be found in every major city offering everything from routine cybernetics maintenance, checkups and consultancy, through to full operating theaters with complete augmentation implantation facilities. Okay, let's head back here to the surgical ward. I've never been under anesthesia before. Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? More or less. I know it sounds a little hair-raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Will I feel any pain or anything? It gets done through your IV needle. You'll be asked to count backwards, and the next thing you know, you'll be opening your eyes and the procedure will be over. Wow. Will I dream? Not while you're under. But you might afterward as you wake up. Can't get into surgical room A. Let's talk to this guy. Wow. Uh, sorry, I was just looking at that scar on your head. Did you get that before or after the surgery? This is my first visit. I'm a little nervous. This is my first visit. I'm a little nervous. Now, there's an ebook here. It's worth 200 experience. The Visual Cortex 2.0, the eye redesigned. Excerpt from an article by Hugh Darrow in the American Cybernetics Gazette, Winter 2012 edition. In the organic model, normal vision begins when light enters the eye through its lens and moves through to strike specialized light-receiving photoreceptor cells coating the retina called rods and cones. These cells convert light into electrochemical impulses that are sent down the optic nerve and into the sense centers of the human brain. In healthy subjects, the eye can function well for many years but retinal diseases like age-related macular degeneration and retinitis pigmentosa destroy vision by annihilating these important cellular matrices. A visual prosthetic, what some might colloquially call a bionic eye, is a form of neural prosthesis intended to partially restore lost vision in a patient suffering from one of the aforementioned afflictions, or to amplify and enrich the existing vision capacity of a healthy subject. Darrow Industries' refinement of this technology does away with the need for an external camera-to-implant relay system, instead reducing the extant hardware to a single biochip directly inserted into the retinal zone of the eye. If you're here for some work, please go to the counters. If you're here for some work, please go to the counters. Now back here, in surgical room B, 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. There is a computer. Yes, here we go. It's unlocked. From A. Margulies at si.corp.det to Vera Markovic, MD. Notes AJ09-0921. I believe you have misconstrued Mr. Seraph's intent, Vera. He only wanted you to give your patient some general medical advice. Athena Margulies. You wrote, Mrs. Margulies, of course I appreciate Mr. Seraph's support, which is why I will do my best to explain to my patient exactly what this generous gift entails, but that is as far as I will go. From now on, whatever augmentations he decides to acquire will be his choice and his alone. The patient, and not the employer, will be the one to decide whether a half-tested prototype augmentation should be included with all the others or not. Sincerely, Vera Markovic, MD, Lim International, Detroit Branch. From Lim underscore HO to Lim d underscore DET underscore all. WHO, attention all staff. An inspection team from the World Health Organization will be paying a visit to your limb clinic within the next week or so in order to evaluate conditions there. Please ensure that everything is properly prepared for their inspection. When they arrive, treat them with courtesy, but continue about your business and do not interfere. In anticipation of the visit, all employees must ensure that WHO guidelines are being followed to the letter at all times. Bear in mind that any negative evaluation will severely infringe upon your clinic's ability to solicit funding. Thank you for your understanding. From Karim Fong, M.D., to Vera Markovic, M.D., notes AJ09-0921, Jensen, Adam, AJ09-0921, blood O, RHD negative, no allergies, family history unknown, adopted, age 5, no papers, has demonstrated healing ability greater than two standard deviations above the mean in the following, speed of recovery, repossession of faculties, post-traumatic memory retention, Unusually large quantities of NGF appearing around implantation sites. Unique autoimmune disorder may indicate he will not require neuropathy injections anytime soon. One previous operation six months ago, life critical, requiring full replacement of chest cavity and left arm. Right arm and legs replaced at behest of employer, authority granted under terms of employment contract. Recovery speed being unknown at the time, patient was also pre-fitted with PDOT biochips in all areas of possible neuroprosthetic insertion to reduce need for physiotherapy following any subsequent enhancement surgeries. Interesting. All right, that's about it for this, so let's head out of here. Now that we've got our capture software fully upgraded, the first thing I'm going to do is backtrack and hack everything. Protesting is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those guys were carrying tire irons and setting garbage cans on fire. And those were the ones we arrested. The rest were merely exercising their right to free speech. What about my right to come to work each day without fearing for my life? I've still got to walk home tonight. I understand your concern. But if you want round-the-clock protection, I suggest you hire a private security company. Did you hear about that hostage situation over in Milwaukee Junction? Yeah, sorry, you but I'm in the first middle of something. All responsibility for if you saw what happened and want to make a report, drop by the precinct. If you saw what happened and want to make a report, drop by the precinct. Go on in. We're still open. It's going to take more than a noisy rabble to close us down. It's going to take more than a noisy rabble to close us down. People see conspiracies everywhere. They're saying that Lim's personal catalogs mean some people get preferential treatment. Please. Lim are the good guys. They believe in equality, unlike everybody else. Lim are the good guys. All right. They believe in equality. Let's get out of here. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now, I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance in the side of the building. All right. Now that my capture software is fully upgraded, let's go ahead and hack this level four device. Let's see. I'm gonna need to nuke both of these just Access to get them in time. But hacking it, the data store had 250 XP. Hacking a level 4 device is worth 100 XP all by itself. Awesome. Let's head in there.
course, I'm out of stop worms. That always makes me nervous. Especially when I have high level hacking to do. But I'm practically drowning in nuke viruses, so maybe I just use some of those instead. Anyway, we want to head out this window. You get 200 experience for getting out here. You want to be careful if you don't have Icarus landing system yet, which I don't. So we're on the roof of Grayson's gas station now. If you open up this vent, you find a sniper rifle, which I will sell to him. Sniper rifle ammo and a pocket secretary. Final prep for demo from Al at scowlingmask.net to Redwing at scowlingmask.net. Okay, the TV crew is on its way. Wait until you can see the green light on the camera before taking the shot. Aim for the area between the cops and the protesters. That way both of them will think the other side fired first. There might be a riot today without your help. If that happens, just drop everything and get out of there. You'll get paid either way. Oh. Let's just clear these new tags. Very good. Now I think we can just drop right into the store and sell him the sniper What's rifle. What's pleasure, friend? Yes. Let's sell the sniper rifle to him. A whopping 1500 And let's see what he's got for sale. Let's get his upgrades. Let's get the damage upgrade. And I don't know if the pistol can... Always a pleasure. I don't know if the pistol can take the burst round system or not. I'll have to check. Let me check my pistol right quick. All standard upgrades. Armor piercing, silencer, laser targeting. Okay, so burst round upgrade is not something I need to worry about. So that's all I need from him in terms of weapon mods. So, there's one other hack out here that we skipped, and then I'll head back into Seraph Industries and do everything except Adam's computer. So this is a level three, if I remember right, which we can handle, fine and dandy. All right, there's a data store there. Spam trigger up there, okay. But if I want the data store, I have to get all the way to here, then capture two nodes before I capture the exit. So, let's just go. Come on, Adam. Access denied. Failed! Uh, yeah, this will start happening. The grids get much more difficult. Especially if you don't have a stop worm. What I need is to stay undetected longer, but I really don't think that's going to happen. So. Dang it. it was so close. What I can't afford to do is waste nuke viruses, so... If I burn them trying to get in here, then... Yeah, I was worried about that. Access 
Success granted. Hell, let's nuke it all. 200 experience in the data store, plus 75 for the hack itself. Then coming in here gets us another 100 bonus. There's an ammo capacity weapon mod and 28 credits. Let's put the mod on my pistol. Very good, very good. And now we're due to head back into Seraph, but I actually I want to go run back to the merchant right quick just to see if he sells nuke viruses and stop worms because I need them. My uh. You just, you kind of have to get lucky in terms of not being detected. So let me do that right quick. If he's got frag grenades, I should buy those too. How may I be of service? Let's just see what he sells. Ammo. Don't need. Tranquilizer rifle and a shotgun. I don't need. Mine template, no. Automatic unlocking device, no. Burst round system, no. Be sure to tell all your friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Well, he's done, so let's head back into Seraph Industries. And do four of the five hacks I skipped. <coughs> Still need to leave Jensen's computer alone until after I visit Greg and Josie Thorpe. But I can go ahead and hack into everything else now. Let's head in and do exactly that. I generally believe in doing the most unpleasant thing first. So I'm going to run back to the helipad and hack the level 5 keypad in the storage zone. Oh, well, let's just skedaddle down the ladder. The only help I have is one nuke virus, which isn't very much. But let's get in here. See what we can find. So, there are two data stores. I can use my nuke to get through this level 5 node. And then pick up the directories, get a clearance. And then it's actually a pretty straight shot through both data stores to the exit node. So, let's do that. I'm not going to make it in time. Access granted. Oh, I got it. Two credit stashes, 500 credits total, and you get 125 experience for hacking a level 5 device. That was awesome. Okay. Get 100 experience for popping into here, which is terrific. And let's see what we find. We've got an ammo capacity upgrade, which I can go ahead and stick right on my pistol. It can take two more of those, two more damage, four reload speed, and four rate of fire. Awesome. What else do we got? Tranquilizer darts, combat rifle ammo, stun gun darts, revolver ammo. Okay, good. In the spirit of doing the most unpleasant thing first, we've got the level 5 done. Let's do the level 4 next, which is the pad to get into Malik's office.
which I think is right here on level two over to our left. Yes, Farida Malik, level four. We've got the code, but we're going to hack, of course. So what do we have here? There is a data store. Two, in fact. If I can nab that one without getting detected, it'll be a huge help, but I doubt that's going to happen, so... Access denied. Yeah, not a chance. Of course, we system locked down. How about quick load? That'll take less than 30 seconds. All right. Well, it looks like what I really need is first of all. If I can get the clearance undetected, that'll be a big help. Disconnecting prevents a lockdown, at least. Alright. Yeah, I need to get the clearance node undetected. That's the bottom line. We're just going to have to keep trying this until we luck out. The, uh, the stealth hacking mod... Uh, augmentations will help us a lot when we're trying to do this, but those are a ways away. I have higher priorities. Okay. Both data stores are cheaper now, so let's move as quick as we can. Not gonna happen. Access denied. Yeah, not even close. <clears throat> What really needs to happen is I need to get... Here's what needs to happen. I need to be on the right side of that 60% a few times in a row. I need to get all of this undetected. Or I don't have a prayer. Yeah, like I said, not a prayer. Let's exit. At least I get to try again immediately. Damn it, Jensen. I really need him to... <clears throat> just do what I tell him to. Or we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Anyway, no worries. Let's jump right in and try again. Not going to happen. Let's exit and try again. Yeah, not gonna happen. I just so... Well, I, well, first I need to quick save right here next to the pad just to speed things up. Now, I need to get this and this, both without being detected. Denied. Thought so. Let's try again. Come on, game. It's bad when you don't have any assistance tools, but... Oh, he wasn't even trying. All right, no problem. Let's try again. I mean, I meant the capture wasn't even running, if that wasn't clear. All right, well, if I get that one without being detected, then 
Go there, go there, and then I can go for the exit as soon as I have the data store. Access granted. I just needed to be smarter. 100 experience for the hack, a stopworm, and 150 credits from the data stores. So let's head into Malik's office now. In here we find an ebook, Building Wings a Better Tomorrow by David Seraph. What is transhumanism? A grandiose term, perhaps, but an accurate one. It is a search, a great destination that we, as a species, are approaching as our journey through evolution nears its next great leap. It is no less than the chance for human beings to reach out and take the helm of their own development. For the first time in history, we live in an era where the factors that define the borders of the human condition, death, longevity, disability, and all the many other, other many tyrannies of our own biology can be surpassed. The advancing science of human augmentation technology allows us to look to an enhanced future, a better tomorrow where the limitations of flesh and bone can be transcended. If I write these words and sound like an evangelist, then perhaps I am. I look to my future and rapt. Okay. Nothing over here. The desk. We've got an unlocked computer. Let's check the desk drawers where we find 204 credits. And on the computer itself, from k 2 Ordi at Yazoo Risp... Yazurispt.det.usa to Farida Malik. Weekend trip. Hey, fly girl, I'm serious about hitting J Tree next month. Think about it. Thanksgiving in the desert. Hanging out after we nail the fortress. Natural selection, baby. You bring the glow sticks this time. You in? Raz. From Frank Pritchard to Farida Malik, helipad storage area. Thank you, Malik. I'll be sure to have a look down there myself. In the meantime, I have changed the code. It's 8053 now. Might I suggest you delete this mail as soon as you've read it? Farida Malik, flygirl at si.corp.det, wrote, Hey, Pritchard, didn't you fire Brian Tyndall a few weeks ago? I could have sworn I saw him coming out of the helipad storage area the other night. Far as I could tell, nothing was missing, but I think you should change the room's access code just to be safe. All right. Now, with that done... We have two level three pads to hack. So, let's do this one first. Whose office is this? Jerry Marr and Dory Harris. All right. Now, what do we have? I do have a data store up here that I need to get to. Stop worm. Access granted. All right, ten credits and seventy five experience. Damn. Did she leave you a message or anything? Okay, it's nothing. Over, but no names have been released. Nothing. When this guy gets off the phone, we'll talk to him. Nice job securing the Typhoon, Jensen. Would have hated to see Taggart and his Humanity Front group finding out about it. Humanity Front. Bah. Okay. Well, we've already heard first those statements. Taxes. Is there really nothing in here? I guess I did that hack for the credits and the experience. Because I see no items in here. All right. Now there's one more office we still need to hack into up on the third floor. Can't remember exactly where it is, though. Not that one, obviously. Oh, yes, this one. Roy Kennedy and Andrea Van Wessel's office. We've already searched the office. We're just going to hack the keypad. Now... What do I see here? I see a data store back here. Transfer nodes. And the exit. Let's go for the data store first. Well, we just got extremely unlucky with the transfer nodes. Access denied. But that's, yeah, that's going to be enough to keep us from winning at the hack. Transfer nodes take all the adjacent nodes and randomly either subtract to or add to. And we got, like, we got two plus twos 
onto this node that we needed to go through. There we go. Minus two. That's what I needed. Access granted. Got a nuke virus. And 75 experience. Since we've already searched that office, the only thing we still haven't done in Seraph headquarters now is hacked Adam's own computer. And we're not going to do that until after we visit Greg and Josie Thorpe in their apartment. I think I explained that when I was at Adam's computer earlier. So let's head back outside. Now, I'm going to keep going into places we haven't explored yet, starting with the, the alleyways, which we kind of ventured into, and all of the apartment buildings back there, but especially with that first backtrack done and the limb clinic objective ticked off, I think that we have come far enough to call it a video, so... I'm going to stop right here, make a new permasave with all of that accomplished, and say that this has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Thanks for watching. We'll get back to Detroit next time. Bye-bye.